Europe is their home base. It's easy for them to move from country to country. It's a wealthy uh, region. They know it very well. And so for that reason, uh, it's a prime target for them. You know, when one of these guys gets caught, say in France or Switzerland, what kind of sentence are they liable to get generally? I would say generally uh, three to six years. Generally. And if they were convicted of the same crime in most states in the United States? I'd say around 40 years to life. Are you suggesting that the penalties are less severe in Europe than they are in the United States? I'm not suggesting. They are. They are substantially less severe in Europe than in the U.S. Do you think this is why they concentrate on Europe rather than on the United States? I believe, if I know for a fact that um, they've chosen this kind of criminal activity because the likelihood of their being arrested is low. And if arrested and convicted, the penalty is lower than it would be if they would engage in drug trafficking, for example, in Europe or anywhere else. So I know these are things that they factor. How do you figure you're doing? Well, that's a question, you know, that's one of the most difficult questions to answer. If you look at the robberies that have occurred just in the last couple of years, you see they've expanded from from Switzerland and from Austria and France and Monaco to Northern Europe, and they've gone all around the world. There's so many jewelry robberies by Pink Panthers, one would have thought that jewelry stores would be thinking about new security measures. Are they? Yes, especially in the countries and region where they've been hit the most, so in France and Monaco and Switzerland and Austria. You see jewelry stores have very, very sophisticated um, security measures in place. So, you know, they have the CCTV cameras outside. They have doors that only open if you buzz and immediately lock behind you. They have glass casing that is unbreakable. And there are actually some videos of Pink Panthers trying to break some of this glass uh, casing that's unbreakable. You are evolving your tactics and they are developing their tactics. It's a cat and mouse game? Actually, it is a cat and mouse game. And uh, their tactics tend to be that they tend to move beyond the region we're in right now. So they're not operating as much in Monaco or the southern part of France or in Geneva or Vienna like they were. They're going much more frequently now to northern Europe. 